here's here's just a reminder about this and again it's it's not going to be like a huge part of what you need to be aware of just because there's so many different options okay. in this particular one when you're looking at what I'm referring to as kind of like the inside functions and outside functions okay remember the different type of functions that you you can have you can have linear functions which is x to what power linear is x to the first a quadratic function is x to the second cubic is to the third a quartic is the fourth okay. we really aren't working too much beyond like the the power of three but we can also go backwards that you also have uh, square roots and cube roots that are functions also so when you're identifying these embedded functions these uh, combination of functions uh, what you need to think of is in those terms you need to pick a linear equation quadratic equation a square root a cube root or whatever so when we look at these you'll you kind of hear me talk about inside and outside functions well if I look at this my inside function is linear right it's x to the first okay so I'm gonna put that on my inside and g is the inside function so what that means is my um, when I solve for h of x, h of x has to be f of g of x. So what that means is I'm going to take my function g, which is x plus 2, and I'm going to replace that everywhere there's an x in my f function. Okay, it doesn't get multiplied by the x, or it doesn't get added to it or anything. It replaces it. So if I knew that I had a place value and a placeholder, so I'm just going to use a circle here. So if I had a circle here and I needed this form cube root of x plus 2, well, I know that this circle is going to hold a spot for x plus 2. What I need to identify is in order for it to have this h form, it has to be the cube root of something. So that's my function. That's the type of function for my outer function, a cube root, my inner function, linear. So I've written my linear form. My outer form is we know that this x plus 2 is going to be replaced here and it's replacing anything that's written as an x okay? and so I think the confusion tends to come because we're using the same variable in each of them and they're not being uh, manipulated together one's being replaced by the other okay, so my outer function is cube root of x my inner function x plus 2 